ago we started this series, we want to complete it today. A sacrificial gift of thanksgiving. A lot of times, we as believers, we get caught up in the world system. But we're believers. We've been born again. We should be trusting God. We should be believing God. We should be standing on his word. But things, so many things are going on around us in the world system, we get blinded. We get caught up. We get misled. We begin to look at what's going on around us instead of what? Looking at his word. For the Bible says, God said, I send my word, not your situation. I send my word, not your circumstance. I send my word, not how you feel. I send my word in the Lord Jesus to heal you of all those that are oppressed of the devil. What's oppressing you? What's depressing you? What's confusing you? What's baffling your mind? God said, I sent Jesus to make those crooked places straight. The wife says it all the time. In our lives as believers, there should be nothing missing or nothing broken. We are the fullness. The Bible says Jesus is the fullness of God body. Everything that's in God is in Jesus. Watch this. And everything that's in Jesus is in you and I. I'm a believer. I'm born again. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. So I refuse to walk in demise. I refuse to walk defeated. I refuse to walk sad and oppressed and depressed. I refuse. Why? Because I'm a child of the Most High God. And anybody that's a child of the Most High God, there's something in you that's not like in everybody else. There's a strength in you. There's a power in you. That's not in every in everyday people. Oh, now we're not trying to separate ourselves like the Bible says sensual. We're not trying to do that. But what we're trying to say is we are called according to his purpose. If any man be in Christ, how many of you in Christ this morning? The Bible says you are a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. Your walk is new. Your talk is new. Your mindset is new. The way you think is new. Brother Junior, I don't think defeat no more. Yeah. Why should I think de defeat when the Bible says I can? Help me, Holy Ghost. He says I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Which strengthens me. But I got to realize I got to do it through Christ. Can't do it on my own. So he spoke to us. He said a sacrificial, sacrificial gift of thanksgiving. We have to give up something. Give up something that means something to you. Give up something that's valuable to you. Because how many of you know you cannot ever, I don't care what nobody say, you can never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, be God's gift. Help me, Holy Ghost. I feel like shouting right there. You can never be God given. You can sacrifice it. You can, you can turn your plate down. And, and you can do all that stuff, and that's good. But what he's really looking for, watch this, he's not good. The sacrifice is good. But he's looking more so of evangelists of our obedience. Come on, Abraham. Just be obedient. You ain't going to have to kill him. You take your son to the altar. You put him on the altar. You pull up the knife. But I got a ram in the bush. But I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make you fathers of many nations because you were obedient. Amen. I'm going to ask you again, what time you playing me? You're going to be on it before the party. We're going to have it out of here. Watch this. Y'all with me?
First Kings. Old Testament scripture. First Kings. Old Testament reading. 17th chapter, Brother Andy. First Kings. 17th chapter. When you get there, say Jesus. If you got your iPad, your cell phones, your iPhones, you probably beat some of the other people they're turning to. But that's all right. We up to date. We millennial. I'm on. Y'all know how I am, man. I'm going to have a good time in the Lord. Oh, yeah. Is that all right? Because yeah. y'all know, watch this. Y'all know how we was back in the day. We call ourselves celebrating Christmas. And we busting Club 36 down. And we busting Studio 16 down. And we couldn't wait to run in Joseph's Lounge. And, but we celebrate Jesus Christ Christmas. So now we have a real opportunity to celebrate him. We come sit like a bump on the oh, yeah. Come on, mother. Well, I'm, I'm a little too tired. I, I mean, I, I'm here. I'm praising him like just as I am. But as soon as you walk in Studio 16, the floor rotating, run, running around. You can see the whole city, high town. You can see the whole city. The, the floor just rotating. You want no wall flower in? Running over folk, knocking folk down. Just to get on the dance floor. Y'all better help me here. Y'all know I ain't lying. Stepping on folk toes. Just to get your dance in. You ain't worried about the other folk. Now we get saved. Come to church and get silent. Quiet. Somebody just say, shout Jesus right fast. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Denise. Jesus. Jesus! Let the world know. Watch this, y'all. See, I do all that stuff because I don't belong. And that's part of my message. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Baby knocked out. I done knocked the baby out. Baby sleeping time. I hope I ain't born the baby. Baby knocked out. Oh, he wide open now. Okay, all right. She heard that. The baby heard that anointed. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready to rumble? Let's bust this devil up. Watch this. A sacrificial gift of thanksgiving. First Kings, first Kings, 17th chapter. Look at the eighth verse with me. We're going to read down. And the word of the Lord came unto him, Elijah. Say, how many of you know the word is always talking? God's word is always speaking to us. Whether you hear it or not, that's, that's, that's between you and God, but he, he's always talking. His word is always speaking to us. He says, and the word of the Lord came unto him saying, arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon, and dwell there beyond, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Y'all gotta catch this. Now, God, you want me to profit. The man of God to go to somebody I don't know. Hmm. And expect her to sustain me. Expect her to meet my needs. Boy, this is some good stuff. Watch this. Just like God placed me here, I expect in HBC to hear the word of God coming from me. I expect you to sustain me with prayer. I suspect you to sustain me with fasting. I suspect you to sustain me with words of life. Watch this, y'all. So you want the prophet of God, the man with a word in his mouth, to go to a widow woman. Come on, y'all. A widow woman? No husband. No covering. No one to really watch over her. But I got to go to her in 
get a word from her. I got to get a, a, a nourishment from her. Two things. When God speaks to me, I got to hear. Yeah. Just hold this for me for a second. I got to tell. When God tells me to do something, I got to hear him and know it's God. And even if I don't understand it, evangelism. I got to tell the people. Just like mother, he said, sacrificial praise, a day of Thanksgiving. That's out of the norm. But he said it. So I had to share it. And watch the outcome. Watch what God does. That's why I want to encourage you. Whenever you hear a word of God from the man of God, everybody in this place, take heed and listen. Take heed because God is not going to tell a man of God, a true man of God, he's not going to tell them anything that's going to harm you. Everything that comes out of our mouth got to edify you. Everything that comes out of my life got to build you up. Everything that comes out of my mouth got to strengthen you. Look what he says. Watch this. The woman is there to sustain thee. So he rose and went to Serapath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there, gathering up sticks. And he called her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I might drink. It shows how. When God speaks to his servant, he will direct him to do and say things that our flesh, come on y'all, may not receive. Our flesh may not comprehend. Our flesh may not understand. But how many of you know we spirit beings? Come on, come on. You're just in a body now, but you are truly a spirit. You came from him. Whether you know it or not, you are a spirit living in a body having a soul, possessing a soul. Oh, yeah. So, God may say something to us, we just don't comprehend. But what's happening now, mother, is our faith is being tried. Help me on this. Watch this, y'all. God is not going to tell you to do anything that he doesn't have the remedy to solve. He doesn't have the ram in the bush for you. He's not going to tell you to do it. Like he told us to fast and pray. It's not for naught. He has something in store for us. So now he's testing not only the woman, the woman, the widow woman, her faith, but he's testing the prophet of God's faith. Come on, Ernie. I thought about it before I said let's fans. I thought about it before I said a sacrificial offering. Y'all remember that? I was like, oh, Lord, I got to ask this. God, not only are we fasting, y'all, but watch this. We're, we're coming to God with a sacrificial offering. Something of value. Come on, a financial offering with them. It's not for me, it's not for none of the leadership, but it's for the body of Christ, for church. But it's sacrificial. But watch this, I had to be obedient. To ask for, I, come on, NHBC, I don't ask you for no money. Come on now, I don't say give me a $50 line. I don't care, say give me a $100 line. And if you give, if you give me a $1,000 line over here, I give you a bottle of water. A bottle of spring water, I don't do that stuff. But I say, this is what I say, Brother Steve. I say, be true to God's word. And if we be obedient to God's word, watch his, his word show himself strong in our behalf. Amen. Bottle of spring water. No good well, I brought it from home. I'm trying to tell somebody it's from the River Joy. Y'all better help me in here. You don't think they do it? Y'all need to be excited. You got a man that God just love God and just gonna try to do it his way the best I can. I'm gonna do it the way God tells me to do it. So he had to be obedient. He had to hear God's voice. And he had to go to the woman and notice this is God's word, y'all. Whenever God's word says it's going to do, 
is going to produce. He going to a place looking for a widow woman. He don't know her from Adam. But when he got there, she was there. Now, come on, that should encourage you. God told you to do something. God encouraged your heart to plant a seed. God told you to say something to somebody, you know, be kind to somebody. How many of you know if he told you to do it, he's going to provide what you need to get it done? Sister, can he tell you to go to Walmart? You ain't been to Walmart in two months. But for some odd reason, he tell you to go to Walmart. And next thing you know, you in Macy's. Oh, no, 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 yeah, you done went to Macy's. But he said, no, Walmart. Now you done went to uh, uh, um, um, oh, another store. Somebody give me another store. JCP. But he told you to go to Walmart. Now, soon as you get in Walmart, you trip and stumble. Right into that very person he wanted you to see. Y'all don't think God worked like that? He worked just like that. You think you're doing what you want to do, but he had you doing exactly what he said he was going to have you do. 